deal with the mouth, the face, the neck, the teeth. And that really, I think, is an integral part of what defines somebody's individuality. And our goal is to not only be able to treat problems of those regions, but try to bring somebody back to what they were supposed to be. Well, there's no other area in the body where so many senses are in such a confined part of the body. Your ability to speak, your ability to taste, to smell, to see, all of these are affected in one way or another by cancer, by trauma, or by jaw growth discrepancies. In my way of thinking, there's not another more challenging part of the human body. What's really interesting about the specialty of oral and maxillofacial surgery is that it straddles the two fields of both medicine and dentistry. And so by combining the expertise of those two fields, it really provides us the tools for managing comprehensively the diseases that affect the face and head and neck region. Although we have similar practices and practice philosophies, we all have different subspecialty interests. And I think that it allows us to not only um, work more efficiently, but bounce ideas off each other and ultimately um, result in shorter operative time for patients and give them the best possible care we can give them. You were amongst the first in the world to integrate virtual surgical planning, the use of computers, navigation, certain guide stents that can help transfer a computer plan to the patient. The second innovation that we've been involved in has been transoral robotic surgery. And one of the ones that I'm most excited about is immunotherapy. And that is boosting the immune response to fight cancer. All of that has been transformative for surgery in medicine, particularly in the head and neck region. It's become standard of care practice to use that technology to allow us to achieve better outcomes, more predictable outcomes, and really decrease the side effects related to treatment for our patients. For 30 years, our group has been a resource, not only to this community, to our profession, and also to the health systems uh, with whom we are privileged to work. We have a primary presence at Portland Providence Hospital and interact with their oncologists, other team members, and their research activities. We, for years, have had relationships with Legacy Emanuel Hospital, the Level 1 Trauma Center, and with Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital, which is their oncology or cancer hospital. What is really special and important about that relationship is that it really brings that multidisciplinary approach to our patients. I feel fortunate to be in this kind of collaborative uh, environment where we push each other and push the boundaries of what we can do with medicine, dentistry, and surgery to allow our patients uh, to get the highest level of care. It is multiple heads, multiple really smart, talented, and highly trained people that come together to approach a problem. And it is through that collective rather than the single that I think we can improve and optimize patient outcomes.